What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fandoms Anonymous. I got my boy GT back with me, man. Welcome back to the studio, man. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I know, right? I know, I know. It's been a minute, guys. If you remember me and GT when we first started out with Fandoms Anonymous, one of our very first videos with GT broke down the tech and storyline, we just looked at that video, and it's over a thousand views. So shout out to all the people who are Tekken fans and who love Tekken. Now, you see our shirts. You know what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the new Justice League trailer. We knew it was coming out today. Mm -hmm. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. We we're waiting on it. It popped up on my way to church, and my wife was talking about something, and I was watching Justice League trailer. So, <laughs> yeah. But I understood everything that she was saying, and I can repeat it back to her if she asked me right now. As we, <laughs> so, <laughs> we see this trailer, and we already see Joss Wheaton all over it. We get that 2012 Avengers feel, mm -hmm. feel with the comedy, with the lightheartedness, with the new look, we see Steppenwolf. Of course, they're not really getting into Steppenwolf, but we see Steppenwolf rain down his vengeance and hammer upon everybody. But let's start off at the beginning of the trailer with the Man of Steel where uh, Lois Lane is having a dream sequence. So, now, one thing about Lois Lane, she's always had black hair. What made, what you think made them change it up to have this actress? And I guess they, she wanted to keep her natural hair color and they just went ahead and went with it. But I'm always used to Lois Lane in the comic books. The TV shows, the cartoons, always has black hair, but she has red hair. Like I said, Amy Adams, I guess they want to let her keep her regular hair. Right, right. I guess so. But we see this dream sequence. Uh, Superman, of course, is still dead. She's dreaming, and uh, Superman's talking to her, uh, I guess, about their proposal or their marriage or whatever. He right. said, you know, I'll take that as a yes. You know, all that good stuff. Because he's, he's, he's Superman. Come yeah, on. Yeah, he's Superman. He's Superman. <laughs> he's Superman. But <laughs> we move forward in the trailer. We see our Batman. We see Aquaman. We see all the Justice League. And we're going to talk about something else about the Justice League in another video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's something that they started out pushing when they first started promoting Justice League. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into it because we want to know what happened to that phrase, if you guys understand what we're talking about. So what did you think about the trailer? I mean, I'm I'm hyped to see the movie. I mm -hmm. really am. I'm hyped to see the movie. I mean, after the success of Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. of course, you know, and, and just in my opinion, personally, I feel, feel that, you know, it's like the best DC standalone film they have thus far. I mean... Nothing against the other entries, but Wonder Woman, as for some people who've seen it, did make up for, you know, the lackluster Suicide performance. Squad. Uh, Suicide Squad. I mean, Man wow, of Steel. Man of Steel. Batman v Superman. All Batman of v it. Superman. Wonder Woman practically was the, the saving grace of this the DC franchise movie. right now. But I'm I'm hyped to see what Joss Whedon is going to do with this movie. I mean, for those of all that paid attention to, uh, what's the actor's name? Um, he played as um, J.J. Jameson in the Spider-Man franchise, and now you see him as Commissioner Gordon. Oh, uh, dang, I can't even remember his, can't even remember his name right now. Can't I know, but you all know who I'm talking about. And right. You see him as Commissioner Gordon. Which is also kind of funny that and Michael Keaton was Batman and he played as a vulture in Spider-Man. Exactly, you know? exactly. But um, gotta make that money. Yeah, but um, seriously though, I'm I'm hyped to see it. I'm hyped to see Justice League to see exactly what direction they're gonna go. You know, with it now, like a world without Superman. I actually like to see that on the big screen because everybody knows that Superman is like that guy as far as superheroes mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. But we want to see it on the big screen as okay. Where does the world go from here now that our, you know, our, our savior is no longer with us? You know, exactly. you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, where where are we going to go from here? And who are these other guys? You know, that are not Superman, but they having to live up to like Superman's name or you know the bar that he set very high mm -hmm. in terms of you know superheroes and saving the world. Like, can they actually measure up to that level? I mean, for those that saw Batman, Superman. Batman said, hey, I'm going to, you know, honor his memory and death and, you know, pick up where he left off. Exactly. And being that, you know, we got this apocalyptic threat coming, we need to get these other guys to help us save the world. But like I said, November, I'm very, I'm very hyped and very stoked to see what's going to happen. Now, for me, I looked at the trailer. One thing that was present was the need for Superman. They kept saying, we need Superman. We need Superman. 
Um, I, everybody is not as powerful as Superman. Of course, we know he's right. the most OP in this whole movie, exactly. this whole universe. And comic books in general. Exactly, comic books in general. But what I want to see from this movie is to give us that lighthearted tone to bring about more from the DCEU. And I feel like Joss Whedon has really taken a turn on this movie and mm -hmm. he's going to bring us a great theatrical presence. But I want right. to know what you guys think about the new Justice League trailer. Let us know in the comments below whether you're watching this on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube. But if you don't know who we are, we're Fandos Anonymous. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S, A-N-O-N-Y, M-O-U-S. We're all over social media, right here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for future videos. Don't forget to go to Facebook and join our group where we have discussions each and every single day mm -hmm. and hit the like on the Facebook fan page. Don't forget, go to Instagram where we're at fandoms underscore anonymous 17. And a lot of volume is picking up on Instagram. It Every is. day people are following, people it are is. starting to comment now, people are liking posts. So we're going to keep Instagram up. We want you guys to continue to follow us. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and or ideas, please email me at fandomsanonymous17 at gmail.com. But mm -hmm. guys, as I always say, if there is anything else, thanks for watching. Have a good one.